गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन दिस इज चंद्र क्लर टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री इन एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज फिल इन द मिसिंग नंबर्स टू मेक द फॉलोइंग फ्रिक्शन एज इक्विलेंट एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इक्विलेंट लाइट फ्रिक्शन और लाइट फ्रिक्शन प्रॉपर इम प्रॉपर मिक्सड सो ना वी नो वट आर इक्विलेंट फ्रिक्शन सिमिलरली हियर टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू पार्ट्स आई एम सॉल्विंग सी पार्ट दैट इज थ्री अपॉन फाइव इज इक्वल टू डैश अपॉन फिफ्टीन so the first method is by the help of cross multiplication cross multiplication means numerator of this number will be multiplied by denominator of this number and numerator of this number will be multiplied by denominator of this number but here the problem is we don't know what is this number so we have assumed let this number be x if this number is x then the numerator of this number is equal to into denominator of this number is equal to numerator of this number that is right now we know only it is x and denominator of this number that is 5 and both these are equal because in question it is given they are equivalent fraction so if they are equivalent fraction then product of these two numbers must be equal to product of these two numbers that's why i have written here equal to now if you have to find out the value of x we want this number only na and we if you want the value of x then bring this 5 here 3 into 15 was already there now bring this 5 here as we have seen in addition and subtraction if we are taking any number to another side of equal to its a sign changes that means if it is plus it will become minus and if it is minus it will become plus similarly in multiplication and division also it is true that means if any number is multiplied here then it will be divided here so when you will bring this 5 this side of equal to it will be divided now you see you can do it directly see x is equal to 45 upon 5 that is equal to 9 so the value of x will be equal to 9 that means here in this box we have to write down what 9 this is our first method second method that is suppose it is 3 upon 5 is equal to dash upon 15 since both these are equivalent fractions that means we can convert the smaller fraction into larger one or we can convert this also by this either by the process of this is our second method okay either by the process of addition or by the sorry either by the process process of multiplication or by division divide this is the larger number so divide this 15 by something and you can convert it into 5 but the problem is here you don't know what is the number so how will you divide it so we will use multiplication process that means here we are having 5 here we are having 15 we have to make this 5 15 how we know that if we will multiply this 5 by 3 it will become 15 5 is a 5 5 2 is a 10 5 3 is a 15 and if you are multiplying your denominator by 3 then you must multiply your numerator also by 3 then 3 3 is a 9 so again your answer you see answers are same in both the cases whatever you feel easy you can use that particular method likewise you will solve question number 1 now we will see question number 2 put greater than sign or less than to compare the following fractions such questions we have already done in recap exercise so here also we will do on the such questions when i am solving d that is 1 3 by 4 dash 1 1 by 4 this i have solved and when f part i will solve let me solve here only f part 3 1 by 5 and dash we don't know 5 1 by 3 okay so you see here whenever the question is given in the mixed fraction our first work will be to convert it into improper fraction so from here 1 into 4 is 4 4 plus 3 is 7 so here we are having 7 by 4 dash 1 into 4 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so it is 5 upon 4 now you see the denominators are same we have already learned that if the denominators are same then the numerators look at the numerator the number which is having greater numerator will be greater fraction so obviously 7 upon 4 will be greater than 5 upon 4 done now you see here f first of all we will convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction that is 3 into 5 is 15 plus 1 16 upon 5 this is dash and this is 5 into 3 15 16 upon 3 this time you see numerators are same and denominators are different whenever this kind of situation is there for numerator we don't have to see anything because both are same only the denominator which is having greater number 
that will be smaller fraction so this will be smaller than this one the denominator the fraction for which the denominator is larger that will be a small fraction this we have already seen the example of chocolate from the same concept this is coming okay now question number 3 in question number 3 some numbers are given some are in proper improper mixed everything is given here and we have to so uh, let's see the b part 9 upon 10 7 upon 10 1 3 by 10 2 1 by 10 2 by 10 so that means first of all those numbers which are in the form of mixed fraction we have to convert them into improper fraction that is 9 upon 10 as it is 7 upon 10 as it is 1 into 10 10 10 plus 3 13 upon 10 then you see 2 into 10 20 21 upon 10 and here 2 upon 10 okay now all the numbers are in the form of proper or improper now you see in question number three in all the parts the numerator sorry the denominators are same so that means we have to see only the numerators and we have to write down in descending order descending means greater to smaller that means first of all we have to write down the largest number since the denominators are same so for the numerators the number which is largest that will be automatically the largest number so we will write largest that is 21 upon 10 after that what we are having 13 upon 10 after that we are having 9 upon 10 then 7 upon 10 and then 2 upon 10 okay so this is the smallest number and these are the this is the greatest number okay so this is the des descending order that means first of all you will convert your mixed fraction into improper fraction denominators are same so don't look at the denominator just look at the numerators the greater number will be the greater fraction and the smaller number will be the smaller fraction since we have to write down in descending order so first of all we will write the greatest number then smaller than that then smaller than that likewise we can arrange them in the descending order Question number 4 is arrange the following unlike fractions in ascending order. But here the thing is neither the numerators are same nor the denominators are same because they are unlike fractions. So here we have to use another method. Another method means uh, here we have two methods. One is LCM method and second one is cross multiplication. But cross multiplication we cannot use in the question where more than two fractions are given. That can be used only up to two fractions. So obviously in question number 4 we will need to use only LCM method. Let me see any question. Let me see D part. 4 upon 6, 7 upon 15, 2 upon 5, 8 upon 10, 1 by 3 like this. This is one question and we have to arrange them in ascending. Ascending, descending we will see later but right now we have to see which is larger and which is smaller. Then only we can arrange them. Okay, so for that our first work will be we will take the LCM of all the denominators that means we need the LCM of 6, 15, 5, 10 and 3. Okay, we have to write down the LCM. I am solving it here. This is rough work. Need not to do in the fair notebook. You can solve also in the rough notebook. So here we will start from 2 only that is 3, 15, 5, 5, 3. Then we will go for 3 this is 1 this is 5 this is already 5 5 and this is 1 then we will go for 5 that is 1 1 1 1 1 so here the lcm will be equal to 2 into 3 into 5 2 into 3 into 5 5 3 is a 15 15 2 is a 30 so here you are having lcm 30 so what we have to do first of all we have to find the lcm of all the denominators that is 30 now we have to divide all the denominators one by one by the LCM. So we will divide this LCM by first denominator. First we are talking about first number. So we have written first number. Now we will divide this denominator by uh, sorry third LCM by denominator. 30 divided by 6 is 5. You know 30 divided by 6 is 5 that we know. So here the answer is 5. So we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. Now we will take the second number that is 7 upon 15. Now we will divide the LCM by this denominator. So when you divide 30 by 15 we will get 2. So we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. Now we will take the third one that is 2 upon 5. Divide 30 by 5 that is 6 times. So multiply both numerator and denominator by 6. Now take the next number 8 upon 10. 
divide 30 by 10 we will get 3 okay so we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 and then the last one is 1 upon 3 okay so we will divide 30 by 3 we will get 10 so we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 10 now we have to find out the answer this is 20 upon 30 7 to the 14 upon 30 this is 12 upon 30 this is 24 upon 30 similarly here we are having 10 upon 30 so now what we have what are our new fractions you see we have our new fractions 20 by 30 14 by 30 12 by 30 24 by 30 and 10 by 30 now what benefit we have got we have got the benefit that all our denominators are same and numerators are different so you see uh, here that is denominators are same so for numerator the larger number will be larger larger fraction and smaller number will be smaller fraction but in question we have to write down in ascending order ascending means first of all we will write the smallest number so you see what is the smallest 10 so 10 upon 30 after 10 what is this 12 upon 30 after that we have 14 upon 30 then 20 upon 30 and then 24 upon 30 since we have arranged in ascending order so this is smaller this is greater this is smaller this is greater but our final answer must be in the form of given question only we have arranged these fractions but these were not given to us these were given to us so we have to convert our these fractions back into this how will you convert you see first of all you have to write down 10 upon 30 from where did you get 10 upon 30 from here and how did you get what was the original fraction 1 by 3 this was 1 by 3 we multiplied 10 10 so we get 10 by 30 so what is our original fraction it's not 10 by 30 but it is 1 by 30 so instead of 10 by 30 we will write 1 by 3 12 by 30 see where is 12 by 30 this one 12 upon 30 what was the original fraction 2 by 5 you see in the question 2 by 5 is given so we will write 2 by 5 14 upon 30 14 upon 30 original fraction 7 upon 15 so we will write 7 upon 15 20 upon 30 let's see where is 20 this one 20 upon 30 means 4 upon 6 so we will write 4 upon 6 then 24 upon 30 where is 24 this one so this is 8 upon 10 8 upon 10 same symbol since we are talking about a sanding order that means this we have used to solve our question but our final answer must be in the form of question only that means in which form we are given the question same type of answer we must write down now question number five question number five first part is just like this you can find the lcm and do it no problem greater than less than i will tell you the second method that is cross multiplication because for this you can use cross multiplication also this is our question okay we have to tell which is smaller and which is greater obviously okay compare we have to compare them so for our first work will be we have one mixed fraction convert it into improper fraction how much 9 9 plus this is 5 is 14 14 upon 9 and 14 upon 8 here automatically from our first concept we can say that numerators are same denominators are different so the de greater denominator that fraction will be smaller number so this is small and this is greater from our concept we have got it but this is possible because here fortunately we have got same numerator always it is not possible that you will have same numerators so for that you can use cross multiplication you see you have a number 14 upon 9 and 14 upon 8 okay now for cross multiplication you have to cross multiply them okay for cross multiplication here you write this answer that means 14 into 9 cross multiply means 14 into 8 numerator of this into denominator of this numerator of this into denominator of this here we are getting 112 here we are getting 126 so here first we will write this fraction in the numerator that is 126 and here we will write 112 if here we are getting a proper fraction then our first fraction will be greater than second one 
proper means denominator must be greater than numerator and if here we are getting improper fraction then our second fraction will be greater so you see here numerator is less than denominator therefore this is an improper fraction and for improper fraction your second fraction will be greater greater means this symbol you have to use this is greater and this is smaller otherwise the third method third method means lcm you take lcm of 9 and 8 take the lcm lcm we first method second method third method you have three methods here 2 9 4 then 2 9 2 then 2 9 1 then 3 3 1 then 3 1 1 so what is lcm here you see 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 2 into 2 into 2 3 into 3 so you see here 3 3 is a 9 9 18 36 36 into 2 12 1 72 so here you have lcm 72 lcm of your denominators 9 and 8 that is equal to here i can write 72 now you have to divide lcm by the denominator that is you divide 72 uh, 72 divided by 9 and 72 divided by 8 so here you are getting 8 here you are getting 9 right so when you divide this lcm by denominator you get 8 so multiply both numerator and denominator by 8 similarly here write down 14 upon 8 now divide your lcm by the denominator that will be 9 so multiply both numerator and denominator by 9 so here obviously you are going to get it as 112 upon 72 similarly here you will get 126 upon 72 now you see the denominators are same now you have 112 upon 72 and 126 upon 72 denominators are same numerators are different so the number which is smaller that will be smaller and the number that which is greater that will be greater this 112 is coming for 14 upon 9 so 14 upon 9 is less than 14 upon 8 this is again your final answer you see in all the three parts we are getting the same answer you can use any one which you like generally you will use any one of this because here by chance the numerator is same it's possible that both numerator and denominators are different and in that condition either you have to use this one or you have to use this one that is your choice rest of the things we will see next class thank you